Okay, Wine is a program that we can install in Linux that will allow us to run Windows applications and even Windows games and a lot of Windows programs within Linux. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Wine. So we'll go here and we'll get a terminal. This is a fresh install of Ubuntu 11.10. I haven't done anything with it. Just basically installed it right out of the box here. And then this is the first thing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with a sudo app-get update command to update our repositories. I've got to put in my password. Okay, and we're going to run some quick updates here. All right. I'll type the clear command. And if we're going to install Wine, Wine is included in the Ubuntu repositories, but what we can do is we can add the Wine repositories to our install here so that we can get the most up-to-date uh, versions of Wine. So let's do that. Let's add that to our repository. So what we're going to do is we'll say sudo add apt dash repository ppa colon ubuntu dash wine whoops forward slash ppa all right let me take a look at that that looks good all right we'll do that and that should add the repository to the system it says hey are you sure you want to do this say enter yes okay done I'm gonna type clear command again to clear our screen here alright and what we'll do now is we will um, install wine so we'll say sudo apt dash get install wine 1.3 alright and that's gonna install wine for us Okay, do you want to continue? We'll hit Y and hit Enter on our keyboard, and now it's downloading and installing all of the packages and all of the libraries and all the files that we need to run the Wine program. Now, it's going to take a little while here, so I might pause the recording until it's done. Okay, it's unpacked all the packages and now it says here end user license agreement. So I'm going to hit tab and then hit enter OK. Do you accept the agreement? I'll use the arrow key. Hit enter, yes. More unpacking to go. Okay, it looks like it was successful. It took a while. I have a slow internet connection, but uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to I'm going to click in the window here, and once again, I'm running this on a virtual machine, so it's not quite as fast as if I was just using it directly on the hardware. So now we have Wine installed. Let's take a look. We'll do an ls command into our home folder, and you can see that we've got desktop downloads music but if we do an ls and then dash a for all I'm looking for our wine folder I thought it would be in here as a hidden folder okay Wine, configuring wine, uninstall wine, wine tricks. Configure wine. Aha. 
So we had to run this configuration tool first. Let's take a look here. Windows versions, Windows XP, Windows 2000. There we go. Libraries, graphics, drives. We have our C drive, drive underscore C. Audio, graphics, desktop integration, about. OK. All right, now if we do an ls-a, we now see our .wine folder. Let's go into it, take a look at it. Inside of it, you can see that's where our C drive is. Drive C, we'll change directories and go in there and do an ls command and you can see there's our program files folder where we'll keep our Windows programs alright users and a Windows folder right so we have kind of a virtual Windows environment so that we can install programs into um, Wine let's run a program in Wine let's see what's by default there already. So what we'll do is we'll say CD and we'll hit tab program files LS we'll see what's in there. Okay there's uh, Internet Explorer is there by default so let's try to run it. We'll say wine Internet Explorer hit enter and says it cannot find it. All right. Well, we can't run it like that. We probably need to run the executable file. So since this is a folder, we'll go in there. Change directory. And we'll look inside, ls. And there it is. So we'll try that one more time. Wine. I. Explore. And there it is. There's Internet Explorer. Okay. Well, that's nice. Built into work. That's pretty good. All right. Let's take a quick look at this browser. Probably many of you are saying, well, why do we need Internet Explorer if we have Firefox and we're running Linux? We want to get away from Internet Explorer. But let's say you're a developer and you're creating web pages and you want to know how they how they're going to look in Internet Explorer in an older version. Let's see what version this is. About Internet Explorer running on Wine 1.3.28. So it doesn't really tell you what version it is, but it looks pretty good. All right, we'll close that. We'll clear this. Okay, let's explore a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a cd command dot dot to go up one folder and I'm going to once again do ls so that's what we saw in there um, if we explore into the I'm going to tab and then ls again you can see there's nothing in the common files folder so I'll do a cd dot dot and cd dot dot again and I'll clear and right now I'm in drive C so let's do an LS and you can see that there is a Windows folder so let's take a look at what's in there so we'll do a CD command Windows and that looks good and then I'll do an LS and pipe it to more and let's see what's in there now as you can see from this list, right, pipe to more, we have a um, System32 folder. So let's go in there. System32. System32. And then we'll do an ls command. And you can see that there is a number of windows.dll files in here, right? Lots of stuff here. Um, lots of programs look there's explorer.exe right notice the um, cmd.exe the command prompt for um, Windows 
let's give that a try. So I'll type clear and I'll just say wine cmd.exe hit enter and command version 1.3.128 and look c colon windows system 32 and now I can do a dir command to look into my um, into my windows folder using the windows command prompt so that's pretty cool alright I'll type exit exit out of that okay and cd dot dot to get back to a couple of times and to get back to the C drive and do an LS command so we're left right here so what we need now is to download some other programs and install them into um, wine and run them with wine so let's do that let's see if we can get iTunes so 